Give me Isaiah 23. Watch this. Because everybody want to know what's going on over there at the chicken stand, right? Let's see what the Bible say. Read what you got. Isaiah 23. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Read. The ox knoweth his owner. So guess what? An ox is a dumb animal, but he know where he come from. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. Another dumb animal, he know where he come from. Read. But Israel. Oh. But Israel. Oh. But Israel. But you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Doth not know. Uh -huh. My people do not consider. The Most High God said our people don't consider. We don't consider. We don't consider. We will never take time out to find out what's going on. But if we were saying, let's gather together, John 3, 16, God love everybody, it'll be a crowd over here. Right. Give me Isaiah 30 and verse 8. Because our people don't consider. And right now, y'all in the midst of sin. Right. Our sisters in past, that's sin. Right. Our brothers with their face saved, that's sin. Right. We're in the midst of sin right now. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Now go, write it before them in a table uh -huh. and note it in a book Read. that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. That this is a rebellious people. That this is a what? A rebellious people. Three. Lying children. Lying children. Because guess what? If I ask any one of y'all, do you believe in God? You'll tell me, yeah. But when we read the scripture, he that believe and take a heed to the commandments. Read. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Children that won't what? That will not hear the law of the Lord. So y'all just fulfilling prophecy. That's it. It's prophesied in the Bible that we wouldn't want to hear. We'll turn our ear, we'll just keep walking like we'll hear what's going on. Like this don't sound familiar. Read. Which say to the seers, see not. Uh -huh. And to the prophets, read that part again. Verse 10. Which say to the seers, see not. So that's that's our people problem. They don't want us to acknowledge the fact that you're in the midst of sin. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it out. That's our problem. We don't want to know we in sin. Hey, don't tell me nothing about sin. Tell me that God loves everybody and... Christmas hugs and all that. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Read. The woman, the, who? the woman Read. shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So according to the scripture, our sisters are supposed to be around here in pants. Our sisters are supposed to be around here walking around in pants. That's not our custom. Right. Uh, what's it? Amelia Bloomheart. Give me um, Proverbs 3.31. That's not our custom. Our sisters were ordained in modest apparel, dresses, head covering. That's right. Out. Not pants. Show it off your shape. Read that. Go back to Deuteronomy 22 and 5. And I want you to go back where you go. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman, the, ooh, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read it again. Neither. Read it again for the top. Verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Now give me Proverbs 3.31. So again, the Most High God said our sisters should not be in pants. Yes. Sis, read what you got. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Uh -huh. Envy thou not the oppressor. And choose none of his ways. So the scripture says, Even thou not our oppressors, and choose none of our ways. Hey, bro, let me ask you a question. Do you know today the Sabbath day? You know today the Sabbath day, bro? You do? So we're going to show y'all why we in this situation that we in. Why we in a little state. Why we can't get nothing together. Read what you got. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So victuals and wares is things to sell. The Most High God said if the people of the land bring anything to sell, we on the Sabbath day to sell, uh -huh. that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. So according to the Bible, we we're supposed to be buying or selling. So guess what? That's part of your problem right there. You go to the mail, y'all want to figure out how the mail can fix it. That's one way to fix a problem in your neighborhood right there. That's right. That's one way. Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. We're going to show you another solution that can help this community. But guess what? Once again, our people don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. Read what you got. 
This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So we are commanded not to hate our brothers in our heart as well as our sisters. So guess what? When we see sin, we're supposed to correct our brothers and sisters. We're supposed to say, hey, bro, today is the Sabbath. You're not supposed to be buying nor selling. Hey, sis, you're not supposed to have on pants. Your daughter is supposed to have on pants. Read. That's right. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, meaning correct our neighbor. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. Because guess what? What we're doing right now is giving you a warning. We're giving right. you a warning. But guess what's going to happen, kid? Uh -huh. Hebrews 10, 31. We're giving you a warning. Because guess what? Y'all just cool, calm, and collect. It's a Sunday day. It's beautiful. Y'all just chilling. It's just a brother on the mic. He just talking. But nah, guess what? It's a judgment behind that. Right. Every last one of y'all is marked. You so-called blacks and Spanish because you got ears and you can hear. The word going out. You can't say, hey, God, I ain't know I was supposed to be buying on the Sabbath. You know. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 31. This for everybody that say only God can judge me. Read. Read it is a fearful thing. It is a what? A fearful thing Read. to fall into the hands of the living God. You don't want to fall into the hands of God. Your best bet is to take heed and listen. Hearken unto the prophets and, and stop what you're doing. But guess what? Just like the scripture said, we rebellious and stiff neck. Y'all gonna stand over that crispy chick till you get your chicken. That's what you gonna do. Then guess what? Hosea 515. Hi, bro. Excuse me, bro. How you doing, man? Come here, man. Let me ask you a few questions, bro. How you doing today? You say good as the Lord lets you be? Let me ask you something. What's your nationality? What, what nation of people you come from? Did you know that God had a special people that he chose? Okay, who that? I'm going to show you. If you got time, you stay right here, we'll show you, okay? okay. What's your name? Tom, man. Tom, my name is Zephaniah. I'm going to show you something, all right? all right? Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above all people. The Most High God, he talking to the Israelites. He said they're above all people. All people. Right, right. That are upon the face of the earth. Uh -huh. So the Most High God said we're above all people on the face of the earth. But what we do, we fight for equal rights, right? Yeah, we fight for equal rights. But according to the scripture, we're above all people, right? So, let me ask you this. Will you see yourself on this sign? Because right here you got what we was called, what God called us. Over here we got what we was called, we went American black. You know who came from the tribe? Um, that's Judah. You'll be from the tribe of Judah. You know who else came from the tribe of Judah? I'm going to show you the greatest man ever walked this earth. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. It For it is evident uh -huh. that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Christ, the black Messiah, he came from the same tribe. He came from the tribe of Judah. That's Did right. you know that? I didn't know that. All praise to the Most High. You're going to learn. If you sit right here, you're going to learn a lot. Like, watch. Who this is right here? Who that sign is right there? Who that image is? Right, exactly. I got to go put I got a car and run, I fell out on that thing, but I come back by the I do mechanical. But you know what today is? Huh? Get that, no worries. You know what today is, right? Today the Sabbath day. Hey, one thing about it, one thing about it, one thing about you watch the sign. Got you said watch the sign? I'm going to show you a sign. I want you to listen. Give me, I'm going to give you two scriptures. I'm going to give you a sign. I'm going to show you a good sign. Though. Watch this. This is the best sign that you're going to know right here. Watch this. Because cause guess what? We, we, you could be saved right now. Watch this. Read. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. It's the best sign. Man's goings are of the Lord. Uh -huh. How can a man then understand his own way? That's a good sign. That's a sign from the Most High. You right here right now to stop you, get Leviticus 19 and 17, and then what I got you holding. You here for a reason. It say man's going on the Lord. You said, watch the sign, right? That's the sign. You got a sign right now to stop you from going to Mr. C. You say you got to go work. Today the Sabbath, you're supposed to work on the Sabbath. I want you to listen, read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So we commanded not to hate you in our heart, our minds, read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So he said we should correct our neighbor. You my neighbor, read. Okay. 
and not suffer sin upon him. So, like the scripture said, man's goings are the Lord. Right now, you was right here put in this place so we didn't have to suffer sin upon you. Because right now, you on your way to go sin. I'm just going to tell you straight. Get that in the Exodus. What, what they doing over there? They, they hey, hey. The scripture say work out your own salvation, bro. It's about you. Get my daughter caught out the room. It doesn't matter. Read what you got. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. All right, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it. Oh, get out of Get out of the third. Day. See, promises just keep happening over and over and over and over. Guess what? It's cool, come and collect. Yeah, uh, God, we special. All that. Con. But guess what? When the laws come out, I can't do A, B, C. Guess what? Our people haul ass. Read what you got. Right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Now go. Write it before them in a table uh -huh. and note it in a book uh -huh. that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people. A what? A rebellious people. It's prophesied that our people are rebellious. We telling the brother, hey man, today the Sabbath, don't go and work because the scriptures say we're supposed to work. The brother say, nah, I got to go. I can't hear that. Read. Lying children. Lying children. Say they love God. They know. I know God black. Read. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Hey, sis. Hey, sister with the red thing on your head, how you doing? Let me ask you a question. Come here. Read. Verse 9. That this is a rebellious people. A what? A rebellious people. Uh -huh. Lying children. Lying children. Read. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. So it's prophesied our people weren't going to hear. That's why, guess what? Two thirds of our people got to be put to death. That's right. Two thirds of our people gonna make gonna be put straight to death, and ain't gonna be no spot for you. Why? Because you're hard head and you don't wanna listen. You don't wanna listen. You comfortable in the midst of your sin. Right. Read what you got. Nine. Start at nine. The book of Isaiah, chapter thirty and verse nine. That this is a rebellious people, uh -huh. lying children, uh -huh. children that will not hear the law of the Lord, uh -huh. which say to the seers, see not. They don't want us to acknowledge that they're in the midst of sin. They want us just to act like there's nothing going on. You want me to understand that, oh, my, my, my daughter called messed up. I can't understand that because thus said the Lord today is the Sabbath. Give me um, Acts 5 with a 29. Give me that. Because guess what? It's order. It's always an order. The most High God put order so we'll understand what's going on. Because that might be like, well, damn, you saying when it comes out of my kids, my family, I'm supposed to put them behind me? Read what did you got. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 29. The book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God. Obey who? God. No, my daughter. God. My brother. God rather than men. So we commanded to obey God rather than men. You understand what I'm saying? Because guess what? We sitting over here. Y'all done heard it too. supposed to buy your supposed to sell, but guess what? Let me get, get uh, 1 John 2, uh, 3 and 4. Because guess what? I bet if I ask the sister right there, she'll say she love God. I ask the brother, she'll say she, he'll say he love God. But guess what? According to the scripture, y'all hate God. Y'all hate God. That's right. Read what you got. Yeah. The book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. So this is how we know if we know God. Read. If we keep his commandment. If we do what? Keep his commandment. So if we keeping God's commandment, that's how we know we know God. But guess what? Y'all ain't keeping God's commandment. Y'all far from him. Give me Isaiah 29 and 13. Y'all far from him. Very far from him. Very far. And guess what? Y'all gonna keep sitting over there with your oppressor. They gonna keep filling your head up. They ain't gonna tell you, hey, y'all might need to listen. Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. So the most I got say, we good at drawing near to him with our mouths. Because guess what? Sunday service church, we're going to be in there. We're going to be we gonna be living it up, clapping our hands. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Read. And with their lips do honor me. We're going to be singing all the good church songs. Read. But have removed their heart far from me. He said your heart's far from him. Your mind is not on God. It ain't about God. It's about you and what you want to do. It ain't got a dang thing to do with God. Read. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Let me show you that your, your thoughts are towards the most high God was taught to you by the precepts of men. Go to uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Watch this. Because everything correlates right back to the transatlantic slave trade. It go right back there. That's where we came. We got off the boat and was turned into Negroes in America. 
Right. We left Israelites and we came back Negroes. That's right. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Uh -huh. Wherefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send. Start at 47. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. When we go to talking about God's laws, guess what? It get real grievous to people. A lot of teeth sucking and hey, I gotta go. All that gonna happen when you go to pray our God's laws, right? right? And with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Hey sis, you said you was coming back. See, that's the prophecy. Read. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. So he says, since we don't want to serve him for everything, guess what? I'm gonna make you serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh -huh. And hunger. And hunger. We're gonna deal with hunger. Red right nine crispy chicks, I guarantee you that's predominantly white owned. But all I see is my people coming out of there. Right. My people. My people coming out of there. Y'all don't own it. You ain't even got a, a little bit, tad bit saying none of that. But you're gonna you gonna work it out for master. Read. And in thirst. Uh-huh. And in naked and in nakedness, the clothes on your back you gotta go to your enemy for. Read. And in what of all things? Going right back to what we said, the precepts that y'all learned was taught by men, not by God. Because guess what? God love everybody. The brother that got his chicken and he gone. I ain't got two seconds for God. And look, they, 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 they make mockery. Everything funny. It's a joke. Read. And he shall put a yoke of irons upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. So the yoke of iron was taken off our neck once we was comfortable with our condition. We protest for a week. Forget about it and be comfortable. Right. Christmas coming around, I gotta go buy me some Jordans. You won't find Christmas in the Bible. Yep. You won't find Thanksgiving in the Bible. Right. You won't find God loves all nations in the Bible. Right. You won't right. find that in the Bible. You won't find it nowhere. But guess what? Our people don't consider just like the scriptures say. We comfortable in the midst of our sin. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. Uh -huh. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So the most I got said our enemy was gonna come from far. Remember. What side of the earth we was on? We was on the Eastern Hemisphere. I mean, yeah, we was on the Eastern Hemisphere. He said he was gonna send our enemy from far. Christopher Columbus came from the Eastern Hemisphere. Read. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flight. You got Spain, you got Rome, you got uh, even Egypt. They symbolism was what? The eagle. The most I got leaving you clear cut distinction of who your enemy is, read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. We was all speaking Hebrew at one point in time. He said we was going to learn a tongue that we did not know. Just like with the, our native brothers. They, the conquistadors conquered them, and guess what? They speak Spanish now. Read. Right, that's right. How you doing, bro? Good, how about Let me ask you a question. What's your nationality, bro? Black. Black? I want you to stay here for a second. Don't think I'm trying to blast you or nothing like that. We out here sincerely to help our people and raise our people up. You understand that? All right, so you say you black. Can you go to the land of black? Can I go to the land of black? Yeah. Like, can I, can I get a passport ticket and head to the land of black? I don't think I can. I got felonies. <laughs> yeah, but that's part of the curses, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. But guess what? Guess what? I'm going to tell you straight. I ain't going to even go all around the bush. You're not black, bro. Black, black is a color in a crayon box. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? That brother truck over there, his truck black. My boots black. You understand what I'm saying? Get Genesis um, 2 and 7. Watch this. We ain't black, bro. I want you to stay right here. We're going to deal with you as much as we can. If you got time and you want to hear God's word, you can learn something right now. Read what you got. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. Uh -huh. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. God formed the first man of the dust of the ground. When you look at the dirt, the dirt brown on the top, the, digger, the deeper you dig, the darker it get. It get colors like that, dark like, like officer. Get light like that. Get real light like that. We different shades of brown. No such thing as black, right? Now give me Deuteronomy. Do you, do you know, let me, let me ask you a question. Do you see yourself on this sign? Over here, we got what God called us. Over here, through captivity and slavery, different slave ports, we came out with these names. You're at the top, right? All oh, praises, watch this. We're going to show you what happened to those people. Give me Deuteronomy 28, start at, go Deuteronomy 1 and 1. If you stay right here long enough, bro, we're going to show you that this whole Bible, it documents why we're in the situation that we're in. You got to go to work. All right. Well, I'm going to show you something about that. Go to Exodus. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. 20 and 8. Come on, bro. 
This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Today the Sabbath day. He said remember and keep it separate. The word holy means separate. Read. Six days shall thou labor. Six days shall you work. Read. And do all thy work. Uh -huh. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy sons, nor thy daughters, no. So the Most High God just said, today the Sabbath, right? If you didn't know, you know now, today is the Sabbath. The Most High God said we not to work on the Sabbath day. You understand that? Right. So so, so to be real, I understand you be like, hey, hey, what I supposed to do? I got to feed my kids. You got to do all these things. Go to Acts 529. Uh-huh, watch this. Acts 529. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 29. Uh -huh. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. So they go, yeah, answer. Yeah, answer is right there, clear cut in the Bible. Yeah, I got to work, but guess what? Today the Sabbath, hey, I got to keep God's commandments. Because guess what? Give me um, give me Numbers 15 and 38. Watch this. Because that's heavy. See, the Most High God, he really shows so much love to us that he spared us. He gave us a dress code to show us that he loved us. Why? Because we forgive for people. Read what you got. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So we got these fringes on us to remember all the laws of God. When you read up in the chapter, it was a brother doing the same thing as my brother and sister doing right now, buying, selling, and working on the Sabbath. The Most High God put the brother to death, and he institute fringes so we remember that we can't do this. But guess what? Our people don't want to hear that. We done went over the scripture numerous times. Every time we go to bring out laws, our people are hard, but they got to go. They ain't got no time for it no more. They don't want to hear nothing that the Bible got to say. Read. Go, to, go back to uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 30, verse 8. Bring it out. Because guess what? It's prophesied. So it's not a, it's not an amazement to us. We're not all uh, wild out. The Bible said this is what our people is going to do. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, verse nine. chapter 30 and verse 9. That this is a rebellious people. The most High God said over and over and over, we're rebellious. We don't want to hear nothing the Bible got to say. Read. Lying children. Uh -huh. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Our people do not want to hear the laws of God. That's right. They do not want to hear the laws of God. It's clear cut. It's, 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 it's very evident. If we was out here with uh, what is called the Tower Watch, the Bread of Life booklets, if it was Jehovah Witness out of Mormons on the bike, you'll stop and you'll let him give you, a, give you that same picture of white Jesus when white Jesus is not in the Bible. You accept that. You accept that. Get Revelations 1 to 14. You accept that, but guess what? When we tell you, hey, you the greatest thing ever walked this earth, God chose you. You're supposed to be at a higher stature. You're supposed to own this whole world. You don't want to hear that. That's too much for the Negro mindset. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Verse 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So he had John the Revelator write this in the book, because guess what? The Most High and his son knew that they was going to bring us this same image and tell us that Jesus was a so-called white man. That's right. Read what you got. Revel jump to the point. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his... And his eyes were as a flame of fire. All right, right now we are describing Jesus the Christ. Right. Many people claim that they love Jesus. Well, first of all, you got to love him as the Bible describes him. You can't love him as that stringy hair white boy that they showed us um, on every movie you look at, on every picture you look at. Jesus is described as having white, woolly hair. Right. That's two descriptions. That's a color and a texture. Verse 15. And his feet, and his feet, which is going to tell the color of his face. My feet is the same color as my face. Right. That's what color the feet of Christ was, read. And his feet, like unto fine brass, his feet was the color of brass. Brass is brown, the right. same color as a penny. Let's see just how brown Christ was. As if they burned in a furnace. Christ's skin said it looked as if it burned in a furnace. If I burn white rice, it's going to be black. 
So Christ was a dark-skinned black man. That's uh, uh, that goes contrary to everything we've ever been taught. So that's why we're out here to show our people who we are. Give me uh, John chapter 7, verse 38. We're going to show you, you got to believe on Christ as the scripture said. That's not, right. You can't just say, I love Christ, and that's, that's what it is. Right. Read the book of John chapter 7 and verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, how the scripture describes Christ as being a black man with white woolly hair. Right. That's the hair that our people got, but they still want to put stuff in their head to make their hair look like they're oppressors. Right. The same people who enslaved you, the same people who raped you, the same people who did all kind of horrendous things to you, you want to look like them. Give me Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. We're going to show you what God said about trying to be like other people. God made us the best people on planet Earth. We shouldn't want to be like nobody. We, we're the ones who set the trends. When we drop our pants, the other nations want to drop their pants. But that's a dumb, that's a dumb tradition we're following right there. Read the book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. God said envy not the oppressor. Read and choose none of his ways. God said choose none of the oppressor ways. So if the oppressor got straight hair, why are we trying to straighten out hair when God has is curly? God have woolly hair. Excuse me, man. Come on over. Let's see what kind of questions you got. Because you probably ain't the only one who got these questions. They got questions too, but they scared That's to come right. ask. Right. What question you got, man? Do you, okay, you can ask me anything, man. First off, tell me, who, who are your people according to the Bible? I'm Cuban. You're Cuban. Cubans, right here. You are from the tribe of Manessa. That's right. You are not Cuban. You are from the tribe of Manessa. All of these names over here are the names that the slave owner gave us. Right. I'm not an African American. I'm not from two continents. That's right. Jamaicans are not called Jamaicans. They are called the tribe of Benjamin. Yeah. God gave us names. We would rather go by the names God gave us than the names our slave oppressors gave us. That's right. do, do, do you know how to get to heaven? You, you go to church? You believe in God? You know how to get to heaven? Give me Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13. I'm going to show you because the Bible knew what state we was going to be in right now. Matter of fact, give me Isaiah 4 to 6 and 10 and we're going to go there. What you say? I'm going to show you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something that you ain't going to ever hear in church, ma'am. You might want to listen to this. I'm, beyond today, you're going to know what God requires of you, who you are, and what to do from this point on if you love God. That's Read. Right. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning. Only one person ever can do that. Declare the end from the beginning. Who, who is this talking about? At the beginning, he can tell you what's going to happen in the end. That's the most high. That's right. He declares the end in the beginning. Read. From the ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Saying, my counsel shall stand. God said his counsel is going to stand. Now give me Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, As much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. You hear what the Bible said, ma'am? God said, excuse me, ma'am. You good? You good? God said, it's okay. We, we, we know what he's doing. He want to stop this word from going out because we're trying to wake you up to who you are according to the Bible. Right, They're right. the people that enslaved us. So they don't want you to learn who you are, right, but they're going right. to stay on top of you. So that's what we expect from them. So read that again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. God said, though, though they honor me with their lips, they removed their hearts far from me. So let's see. How, all right, with that, we're going to go ahead and go because we have been asked to move by the police and, and, and the owner of this building. Thank you all so much. We're going to move. We're, we're going to comply. No problem at all. Hey, let me see the bag. Give him the bag. How about the filming stuff? Since y'all are right here, y'all don't have permission to use that footage. Okay, so. We're going to get off your property. No, I'm talking about the video, too. I don't know what you're talking about. I understand, sir. Right. We're getting off your property, sir. That's the no. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons.
IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.